Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kevin Novak again. Uh, I wanted to show you something that kind of happened, uh, not because of me, because of the fish in the tank, the uh, angels. And what they have done is the Monte Carlo and the baby tears, they kept picking on it. And as they kept picking on it, they would pull up chunks of it constantly. Now, I replanted some of it at the bottom and it seems to be regrown again but like this photo here showing it uh, the Monte Carlo it's actually growing out of the tank and some of it is emerged and some of it is submerged and I think that's because my light system is above the water at least oh I would say six to seven inches above the top of the tank the light is and it's so bright but one thing I notice is that because it is so bright that the Monte Carlo, the leaves are smaller than at the bottom. These, as you, if you look at these leaves, they're real tiny. Most of them get very tiny because it's like the light is so bright that they, they're growing. And the snails love to get in there and maybe they're eating algae, they're eating detritus, whatever. Actually, the snails are cleaning it up, but... If you look how tiny some of these leaves are, they weren't that tiny at the bottom of the tank. And all this is from the angels pulling on the baby tear in Monte Carlo, constantly pulling it up, eating it, and then they just spit it out. And of course it goes up to the top of the tank. And it's literally rooted itself on the driftwood that I have poking out of the aquarium. And one thing I notice is you won't see very many snails in my tank, but you'll see a ton of snails up at the very top, as you can see. And they must be eating all the algae and detritus and everything that's in there. But it almost reminds me, when you look at the tank, like you have a big tree in the background growing like this. This is all growing on top of driftwood. And... It does. It, it looks, you know, like that movie from Avatar. So, but this was all growing, not because I put it there, all because the angels keep ripping it up and spitting it out, and then it just gets jammed in there because I have the skimmer, of course, on top. And the skimmer is pulling the water into the skimmer that's all behind there and definitely makes a uh, big difference, I think, that it makes it stay and get lodged into the driftwood or uh, if there's a, the java fern there, it get, gets lodged into there and starts rooting into it and it grows in and out of the tank, Emer like I said, emerge and submerge. But it's just, I just thought I would show everybody that, uh, that the plant can live very close to the surface. Now, I don't know if it would do it with a strip light as well because strip lights aren't several inches above the tank. They're real close to the tank. And maybe it would work just fine with a strip light. I don't know. I'm just saying because my light is so very bright and is at least six to seven inches above the aquarium that these plants have lodged in there and they have taken root. And for some reason, the snails, I think it's because it's like a catch-all from when you feed your fish the food is being drifting towards the wear openings, the slots, and maybe food and particulate matter is getting lodged in there. And that's why all those snails are in there. I mean, there's lots of snails in there, but there's not really a lot of snails around my tank. They're basically just staying at the top. Maybe there's even algae growing there, and that's why they're staying there, eating the algae. But there, there's got to be some sort of food source that they're finding that's being caught in to the Monte Carlo and baby tear. But I thought I would show you that the more light you give this plant, the smaller the leaves get. Where the deeper in the tank that I had it, the leaves got a lot bigger. You know, they were just, uh, it, it looked a lot more fuller. And in the top of the tank, it's more dense, like real densely packed with little tiny leaves, probably because the light's so bright. But as you can see, it's doing just as well, it does just as well at the very bottom of the tank as it does at the top of the tank. Now, it's just something I thought I would show you that I found that was a little uh, 
different and this is something I did not intentionally do. This is strictly caused because of the fish constantly pulling at the plants uh, as a food source. So anyhow, I hope this helps you and maybe if you want to buy this plant, just remember. But this also tells you something else about the plant, right? It tells you it's kind of like a catch-all at the top. There must be particular matter floating at the top or something getting lodged in the plant. Why all those snails are up there, and I mean there's a lot of snails up there, and they seem to be not in the main tank, but they're all sitting all where that Monte Carlo and Baby Tears is at the very, very top. So it must be catching food and must be catching particulate matter in there where they want to eat it because there's got to be some sort of food source for them up there. Then they're not going to the bottom of the tank where I feed the fish. And you would figure, right, the food falls at the bottom, right? The fish are only going to clean up so much. you got a catfish, but you would think, well, the snails are going to be down there, right? They're going to want to eat the leftover foods. Uh, uh, if you have flake, they're going to fall at the bottom. But for some reason, maybe because of the way the water flow is, there's got to be food. Because I know I've seen food lodge into the baby tier. I've seen it. And I know the fish don't go up there and get it. And the next day, the food's gone. Because I think the snails, I've seen them, they jump all over that food that lodges in and literally just lodges into the plants that are on top. Anyhow, just I th just thought I would bring it up in case anyone has experienced the, the same thing that I'm experienced, that the uh, baby tears and all will grow, emerge, and submerged in your aquarium. Until next time, this is Dr. Kevin Novak.